Good day everyone. Today is our 28th day of repentance, Tesavu. Uh, what does Tesavu mean? It's repentance. If you do not know what it is, I'm not going to discuss that subject. Please look at the previous post. Uh, it's already 12 posts uh, concerning that. And like Jesus and what Israel did in the past, uh, for the fall feast, there was a 40 days preparation for this fall, for fall feast. And that is what we are doing. Uh, feast of Trumpets is the feast where we can expect Jesus to return. Not any day, not any other day. If each and every one had the knowledge about God's feast days, there would have been no squabble about the Bible. I'm serious. We haven't been taught about God's feast days. God's feast days is the gospel. Yes, it is his salvation plan for mankind, and the church ignores that. Yes, and today's subject is the serpent coat in our, in our house, DNA, the two houses. Yeah, this message I brought, uh, uh, I think it's 2016, 2017, uh, in our meetings uh, that, we, that we keep, but uh, I haven't touched on a subject, and I've... Today, I think it's the appropriate time to share this message with you. you know, the serpent code in our DNA, this happened right, of course, from the time uh, when Adam and Eve sinned. So what happened uh, in the garden during that time? It was not Adam that sinned. Yes, now that might shock you. Eve was the guilty partner. Adam sacrificed his life to uh, Eve because he loved Eve. And you can read that in Romans 5, verse 14. Do read it. It was Eve that sinned, uh, uh, that sinned and not uh, Adam. And that is why Jesus came, because Adam was a type of, uh, of Jesus. He sacrificed for Adam and Jesus to sacrifice his life for us. The serpent's uh, uh, coat in our house. I want you to share this video. It's very important and you will understand what is a sin nature about. Uh, share this video with, um, as the Holy Spirit leads you, share this video with everyone. It's also a salvation message. And what really went wrong in the garden? Many people dispute the story about uh, what happened. It was uh, what happened in the garden. It was not an apple, people. It was also not Satan that, that had. Uh, I would put sex with uh, with Eve, but the serpent. He uses the serpent. Otherwise. Satan would have also been condemned to hell, same like the other 200 fallen angels that are locked up um, until the day of judgment. Satan is very, very wise people, but he likes to break uh, uh, what he is doing. However, let us today carry on about uh, this, uh, this subject. Uh, I was in jail for... for uh, uh, plus minus two weeks and yeah so I'm out of the out of that jail and I really thank Facebook I love Facebook <laughs> bless you Facebook and and the people behind Facebook I love you it's the serpent uh, serpent's coat in our house in a two houses uh, please take note carefully uh, this is a beautiful reflection and a beautiful message uh, to behold here. According to uh, Bible history, over 6,000 uh, years ago, something magnificent happened. It is called the creation of man at the Adam. We are told he was 
was created in the image and likeness of Elohim God. And if you would know when man was created on the sixth day and on the seventh day was Feast of Trumpets. First of Trumpets was the seventh day. Ah, below and behold. And on that day God rest. So the creation happened uh, just a week, in the same week, uh, just before Feast of Trumpets. And on the seventh day, God rest. And that is why Jesus said he is the beginning and the end, the Alpha and Omega. Now the version of this creation or engineering mentioned in Genesis chapter 1, 2, leads us to believe this Adam was highly advanced uh, being plus his body was not like the frail bodies we have today. He seemed to have a, a DNA. Yeah, he seems to have a DNA uh, that uh, have had a light body. His DNA, uh, of course, that's the word for that, and the genetic makeup was programmed so that the international community communication of his genetic codes fashion a body unto Jesus Yeshua. That's right. Adam and his blood was pure compared to what happened. We are told that the life of the flesh is in the blood. Everything was okay until the apple changed our DNA. And as I said to you in the beginning, it was not an apple. I always wondered well, how can God be so mean to punish somebody just to take an apple or cookie out of the jar. Please, people, get real. It was not an apple at all. If you would ask the question, why did they, why did they cover their genitals, mm, the private parts? Why, why, and not their mouths? If it was an apple. I'll include that video for your uh, for your viewing as well. You can uh, watch it from the say from the 18 minute 20 uh, 20 minute marker on onwards. We all sinned and we all have sinned. We missed the genetic markers and fallen short of the glory, uh, the glory, the ge original genetic markers that produce abundance and. Uh, immor uh, immortality. Romans 3 verse 23. What are genetic markers? Genetic markers are genes or DNA sequences uh, with a known location on the chromosome and associated with a, s a specific trait. Genetic markers can identify sets of genes that causes cancer, disease, health, longevity, race, and immortality. Yeah, uh, what we call sin is only an outward expression, effect and defect of human genetics. This a defect of genetic markers may manifest as alcoholism, homosexualism, drug addiction, lying, violence, murder, theft, the entire things uh, one might call sin or even religion. There are two orders, of course. The one comes from hell and the other out of I am. Who is I am? Remember when, when the Yeshua said, I am, they wanted to stone him because I am stands for God. And Jesus said, Yeshua said, I am. Each human has this two orders in our soul house, in our blood. Hell operates through the black. In, uh, inside the order of Baal is a structure, the nature and the seed of Lucifer. The pure bride has the order DNA of Jesus. I say that again. The pure bride has the order DNA of Yeshua. She has structure, order, nature, and his seed in her. And that is why Jesus said he's coming for a spotless bride. And 
this 40 days of repentance was built in to that for us to prepare for a day on the Feast of Trumpets that Jesus would come. And I fully believe that it is this coming Feast of Trumpets on 7, 8th of, of October. Jesus wants to override our DNA so that we can have his nature. Yes, that is what he wants to do. We are God's temple and not the temple, the third temple that they're going to build in Jerusalem. That the temple that's going to be built in Jerusalem and that will happen after the rapture. That temple is for the Antichrist. And we all know that uh, Donald Trump was asked to build that, that temple and everything is ready for the day to start. The written things in our DNA becomes what our minds meditate upon. Our minds literally records whatsoever is inside our DNA. For example, when there is a generational uh, racism seed in our DNA, we have a judgmental, prideful, racist stronghold in our mind. And of course, we do not acknowledge it as that because we inherit the seed from our fathers. It hides in us and when trauma occurs, it explodes like a bomb in your soul. And we're living in South Africa where we are really mixed race in our country. I come out of, um, uh, you know, most of my family are white. And what we have, our forefathers taught us, you know, is actually to, yeah, uh, uh, look down upon on blacks. And that is the truth, you know. I remember my father used to use a little cat when I was a, ch a child. He used to open a, the, uh, the, the window and... Uh, the little black boys that always used to come and loaf over the convent, you know, in cradle, he used to take the catty and he used to uh, uh, hit the bombs with it, you know. And that is true. That is what has uh, uh, been taught by many. Uh, uh, parents used to indoctrinate the child, children against it. And, that's, and so likewise with, with blacks as well. Racism is... A spiritual thing, people. It is that's what Satan planted in our DNA. And I'm telling you, even in the church where I used to belong, we used to have a book for the, the northern suburbs, which is predominantly so-called coloreds, and then on the white side, the the city south used to be mostly the whites. And even though some of the so-called colored stay in uh, uh, and city south, they were still placed in the book of city north for visitation. And that is true even right after apartheid has been gone. You see, the seed of racism is a terrible thing, people. And I tell you, when trauma occurs, it explodes like a bomb in your soul. In your soul. And I continue, it is the same with homosexuality. Homosexuality, if there is a seat of rejection, I'm not saying everyone are going through that. If there is a seat of rejection to what a spirit lets us that attacks and breaks down your identity physically because there is no love inside that seat, you can very easily become a homosexual. The homosexuality is a stronghold that the structure of your soul puts up to defend itself. That's right. But it comes out of a seed of rejection, people, out of the pit of hell. And we all know that all 51 states, and that is the part of the apostasy of uh, 2 Thessalonians 2 verse 3, the apostasy comes first, and that is where the false prophet and the antichrist are being revealed. I'm serious. 
but they only receive power to rule after the restrainer is gone in 2 Thessalonians uh, 2 verse 7. Yes. Yeah. Now what our minds meditate uh, uh, about our spouses and how, and uh, this is very serious. Please take note. Will explode when trauma comes. How often do we throw our car, our toys out of the court when we argue, people? That often happens, and we say the worst horrible things about our partners. The enemy uses us to recode this into our partner's DNA. We say sorry. We say sorry. Yeah, until the next episode, we not to be born again when we do these things. Jesus said, go sin no more. And I'll include a video uh, about um, the oil in our lands. We need oil in our land. It's a, oil is, means change. If we have that type of attitude, we need to change. If we have impatience, we need to change on, the, on that subject, people. That is what repentance means. Repentance means literal change. Not once saved, always saved. We need to change. We need to repent on a daily basis, people. We not to be born again when we do these things. Jesus, Yeshua, said, to the woman who caught into adultery, go sin no more. We are in a spiritual battle that manifests in the natural and the war is already won. If we would just start to apply the blood of the land, we would start to taste victory and freedom. Our weapons is the blood of the land, which carry Yeshua's DNA. Remember, and Satan wants to change that today. And Jesus said, as it was in the days, days of Noah, so shall it happen again when he returned. And we're seeing it happening literally. And what is happening at the moment is uh, a Revelation 13, 17, the second option. Go read it. The fullness of I am life uh, poured a uh, out for our salvation, redemption, deliverance, and freedom. Yeah, our, our weapon is the blood of the Lamb, which carries Yeshua's DNA because it is the fullness of His love poured out for our salvation, redemption, deliverance, healing, and freedom. Now we're coming to uh, two houses. We're just halfway into it. Please stay put. The two houses. There are two houses with a door to enter through from the one to the other. Believing in Jesus, confessing in Him, living for Him, open this door. We have to remember that we are not in a spiritual house. We are in the flesh house, people. Even though the door is open. Yeah. Even though we believe in Yeshua, confess him and the love for him, we are still in the wrong house. Why do we live in the one uh, on the one house on this side of the of the door? Uh, we think that beyond that door is for when we die. It is not. It is for now. We have to enter through people. We have to enter through that door. You know. Now there is a door. There is a light. Jesus, the day when he said, when he left, he said he will not leave us comfort, uh, uh, less, but he will send the comforter. And today the comforter resides within our temple. We are privileged people. In the older uh, days, Yeshua, the father, used to stay in a, in a tent. And then he moved to a tabernacle. And when Jesus, after Jesus died, he removed to our temple, which is a spirit man. And that is where God resides today. The two houses. We stay in a fleshly house and, we, and he stay in a spirit man. And the beauty about, uh, you know what? I always uh, I, I want to know where in a spirit man. The Bible says, out of our belly shall flow rivers of living water. 
that be where our spirit man is? You know, when we die, it, uh, we have a spiritual cord as well. And when we die, that is the last thing to leave, is our in a spirit man. So, so uh, when a man, you, a person die, you can still speak to speak to that uh, uh, person. That person can still hear. And the other thing is that God, mm, God breathed through man's nostrils to give us life. And now, mm, 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 yeah, yes, that is what they're probably after, the ark. Mm, that's very interesting, people. You know now there is a door and there is a way to life. There is Yeshua in our spirits, oh man. You, most people are missing one important part. There is only one way through that door. There is only one way to move from the flesh house to the spirit house, and that is through the blood of Yeshua. Through repentance, that is the only way, people. The only way. You remember when, the, when the, uh, Israel left? Yeah, and before the time now, okay, that's the only way. It is more than just salvation. Remember uh, Exodus, God asked them to put blood on the doorpost. The door is the place of covenant. How do we apply the blood of Yeshua? Through repentance, people. Repentance is much, much more than just saying we're sorry. I mentioned it, uh, repentance is a hard attitude. Repentance means it's a willingness to make a change out of love, out of realization that we have operated out of ungodliness. Repentance is humbling ourselves, people, from the sin that comes out of self and pride. Repentance is reconciliation. Repentance is like a metaphorsis, you know, like a butterfly change. Repentance is transforming. It is a change of heart and mind. And in this 40 days, ask the Lord to change our DNA. Pray over your DNA. That's right. Repentance is breaking down the altar where we have offered the kingdom of darkness. Give the kingdom of darkness no room, people. Repentance is the bra is the bridge of rebellion to righteousness. Repenting is one of the most powerful things that we can do because it moves Yeshua. It fills him. It fills Yeshua. Yeshua is hunger for that. He hunger for repentance, humility, faith, and obedience, love, and we have to feed him with repentance. You either feed Yeshua or you fulfill your demons. It is your choice, people. Feed on Yeshua. Chains. Chains. Do not let Satan sit in your temple. Repentance is breaking down the flesh, the kingdom, and the building of your spirit house. Repentance sweeps out the clutter of your soul, people. Repentance erases the written sin in your life book. Repentance breaks the law of sin and death, people. The house of man. Our sinful nature has painted it black. But Jesus, a manufacturer of a miraculous product, product, it is only one step. And you have a house that is as white as snow. Come now, let us all reason together. Though your sin be as black as scarlet. Yeah, I clean it as white as snow. On the day of Passover, they were, they, uh, when they released the two, uh, to the, uh, the two goats, the two goats, one for the offering and one in the desert. When that goat uh, uh, got 
must lost in the desert and it's no more the, the cloth there what's his name that cloth the, that red cloth that they hang there turned as white as snow and that is where that scripture comes from the product is called repentance it consists of his blood but the application is application is called repentance it is so easily it's really a miracle people nothing can compare to it and there's nothing that can have the same result and Yeshua give it away free he give it away free as well he paid for it on Calvary but many people think it's not necessary it's one safe always safe because I think that when the per when they purchase this house which you call accepting Jesus then the house is automatically white no as snow just becomes you want it that way but it's not yeah you see they are two houses on this land Jesus lives in the one house called spirit but you live in the other called soul as you seen in the picture above Jesus is a king royal and you don't live in rubbish people uh, sorry for that word I should have changed it a little bit to the softer uh, <laughs> yeah so when he moves into the spirit's house he furnishes it with all these things yeah he completely remodeled because it was dark the curtains was closed but he opened them and now there is light the problem is that we live in our soul house and Jesus lives in our spirit house and we are family but we often visit each other with very little communication I communicate to him every day every day and I say Jesus I talk more than you do <laughs> yeah but you have to listen to the small still voice people you have to listen to that small still voice and Jesus will speak back to you you know how do you listen to that small still voice yeah you just tune in tune in you go to a stone place sit quietly and you will hear i see sometimes music pictures and that is how jesus communicates with me and i hear i heard uh, very audibly i heard uh, very audibly sometimes but it's very rare yeah you hear that small still voice fathers listen father speaks like thunder thunder like he spoke to elijah you know that's how the uh, fathers with the lightning thunder oh yes and jesus yeshua speaks like many waters and the holy spirit speak yeah with a small still voice when elijah heard that small still voice he was so shocked he covered his wool he covered his wool with his, with his cloak because he was scared of that voice hmm. but he's used to the thunder of the father <laughs> you do not death mother yeah yeah it's true what he says because we have little communication because you are busy and occupy on Sundays yeah on Sundays you go to church and you work and you do good things however you do not have much time for your sure and that is the truth and I go out of the house I even speak now in tongues I always do in a car wherever I go I speak in, in in language I speak in the spirit because you yeah yeah it's true because you, uh, we, uh, we are so busy with uh, uh, with our religious with religious du duties work so forth you know this and that that's not better Jesus comes first and sometimes I'm so busy preparing a message you know that I forget to pray first and that is true that Jesus comes first before that message and even when we will sit with the exams whatever you do pray first and that will become light I'm telling you 
Yeshua lives in our spirit uh, in our spirit house and looked like a palace. However, our soul house looked like a dump. He will help us to remodel however he needs our co cooperation and our attention required. So we so are we willing people? We cannot live in this double mindedness. We cannot live out of our soul. We had to do some work in our soul house so that we can make these two houses one big house and then his things can become the things, uh, uh, can be your things and your things his. Many people think they are saved because Jesus lived in the same year, but actually we are double-minded because we are living out of a soul, soul house. We are not safe if uh, this is a picture of our lives. But there is a way to change this through applying. Applying is blood through repentance. Now I would like to end this modern uh, with this modern day science. Modern day science is catching up with the ancient fold, which is my favorite thing, people. I love that thing of Jacob with the ancient 400 years old technology. Written in our uh, own stories in the Bible, it ensured Jacob took popular trees and almond tree branches. You know, he stripped them and made, uh, made them striped. And that was right, right at the water tr trough where the, the, she where the sheep and the cows and the goats came to drink. He transferred his thoughts, energy, emo emotions and words into them. When the cow saw them, Jacob's thought coded, rewrote the genetic codes of the cattle, and they literally bore stripes, speckled and spotted cows. Genetic Genesis 37. Keep in mind, Jacob had learned something about DNA and his genetic codes. 18 years much earlier, he saw the DNA uh, um, ladder. And that DNA letter looks like, just like our DNA. Could that be the letter that God transfer, transferred right to Jacob? Could very well be. He saw the DNA letter and the angels uh, uh, coded mess uh, messengers sent and descend on the letter. That is exactly what uh, happened in our body. Genesis 28 Yeshua clearly identified himself as a regional DNA template strand in uh, the one that you see there uh, on, to on top of the of the um, of the screen. Yeah, John one uh, 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 fifty one. John one fifty one. And he said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto you, year after you shall see heaven open and the angels of God ascending and descending upon the Son of Man. And that of course happened. Looking unto Jesus, who is the author and the furniture of our faith. Hebrews 12 verse 2. His word, spirit and character will literally recode your DNA. That's it all for now, people. Yeah, please do subscribe and um, Am I thinking of of uh, getting um, uh, another uh, additional channel? Uh, because I already got two stripes. I really pray that will not happen. But uh, be blessed, people. I love you all, and please share this message.